Again do I say that if we wait much longer, we will be swept away by a tide of evil. And where, must I ask, is the justice in this? I will tell you where justice lies. It lies in the strength of our arms, the purity of our souls, and the burning that will rid the world of the witch's evil. What proof do you have that these misfortunes are a witch's doing? For that, you would have to talk to the people she has affected. Farmer Alton, for example, whose cows she cursed, or Goodman Remy, whose son she killed. Often the foolish blame simple misfortune on innocent women. Make no mistake, young woman, there is evil in this witch. The gods themselves have shown it to me. Have they now? It seems as young if... Young woman, I appreciate the passion of your responses, but your arguments speak of a darkness in your own heart. I would ask you to tend to the matters of your own soul before concerning yourself with the sins of others. As for us, the witch at Widow's Point is evil, and good must be ever vigilant against her advances. Now, if that is all... What do you know about the woodcutter's shack? I was one of the first to comfort Malcolm and Nathan when they returned from that fateful trip. And I saw, oh yes, I saw, the horrors of the witch's magic twisted the skies above the shack, turning day into night. Well do I believe that her demons slaughtered those men, turning them into undead fiends. May Almighty Song watch your steps. <laughs> <laughs>